Hi, I'm Gene with Performance Bicycles. I'm one of our spin doctors, and I'm here today to show you how to install a seat post. Uh, first thing we want to do before we're going to before we take the seat post out is to measure how high the seat post is. Do that by taking a standard tape measure and starting at the middle of your bottom bracket, measure up the seat tube all the way to the top of the seat. So the measurement would be right to here. Write that down somewhere so you don't forget the height measurement of it. Now you're ready to take your old seat post off. Take a hex wrench of the correct size. This one happens to be a four millimeter hex wrench. And slowly loosen the bolt on the seat clamp and pull your old, pull your old seat post out. Now after you pull your, your old seat post out, take a look at the seat post. There's going to be a measurement down in here that's inscribed on the seat post. This, this measurement is really important to make sure you get your replacement seat post the same size. This one happens to be a 27.2 millimeter seat post. So we're going to install another 27.2 millimeter seat post. Seat posts come in two tenths of a millimeter increments, so it's real important to get the right size. The seat post that's too small, will, will won't, you won't be able to tighten it correctly inside the, inside the bike. And a seat post is too big, you're not going to be able to insert it in there. Now, before you put the new seat post in, you need to lubricate the, the seat tube itself on the bike. Or you can lubricate the seat post either way. You can do that by using a little bit of grease on your finger and putting it inside the seat post or inside the seat tube and on the seat post itself. Now, if the seat post is carbon fiber, you need to use a carbon fiber grip type paste instead of grease. The carbon fiber grip will help the will help hold the seat post in place with and not not have to use as much clamping power on your clamp. When you install the new seat post, just slide it back down in and tighten your seat post clamp down to the correct torque spec for that particular clamp. And this clamp is five newton meters. Now after you install the saddle, be sure to raise the seat post or lower it back to your original saddle height that you measured at the beginning. And that's how easy it is to install a seat post. If you have any questions, give us a call at Spinductor Services or come by and visit us at your local performance bike shop. Thank you.